Welcome back to Fear. I feel like if I go look at that TV, I'm gonna die in seven days. Ah, who cares? Is she behind me? That was a terrible idea. I thought they wouldn't be able to shoot me while I was jumping out, but they did. <laughs> oh my god. This gun is awesome. It's so satisfying. It just causes complete carnage. I thought there was one more enemy, but maybe not. You know, I just realized that I, like, never ever lean. I don't know, it just seems kind of pointless. Maybe it's not. But it's just easier to just go into slow motion and just, like, peek out. Rather than try to lean. And it's also because if I get into the position where I can actually lean far enough around to shoot, I feel like my shoulder, like the left side of my body right now, feels exposed. So if I want to comfortably lean around the corner, I'd probably do it from somewhere more like here, but then I can't lean enough to actually go around the corner, so... I don't know, it's just kind of awkward. Did they see me? I might be in the dark, maybe they can't see me. They can't see me. Oh no, they can see me. Oh god, there's a big guy. Where should I go? Do I have any grenades? One grenade. That's not very good.
Wait for the dust to settle for a second. Yeah, so this gun is pretty awesome. Not only not only is it really satisfying to fire, but it's very good against those big guys. The game is being generous with the armor today. I think there's an extra med kit in here too, right? <laughs> Two extra med kits. Rocket launcher. Hmm. Jesus, why is that so loud? Wait, what the hell? I can't switch back to the weapon I just dropped? Why? Okay, I guess I'm stuck with a rocket launcher. breaking in. Oh, Jesus. What the hell kind of a kick was that? He nearly killed me with his own kicks. I kicked like the entire pile of bodies, but not him. I think they set up that encounter just so they all go over that thing and you get to like kick him to death. Jeez. That's what I get for trying to be fancy. Some more medkits back there, but who cares? High possibility of snipers. Don't have any scoped weapons anymore. Is this 
where I'm supposed to go? Might be. Where else could I go? Possibly secrets down there? No, doesn't seem so. Jackass was driving that thing. Like, what? I'm pretty sure that does not show up in the tactics book. And it's not because the people who wrote the tactics book are lacking imagination, but rather because it's incredibly stupid. I don't know, maybe they tied a brick to the uh, throttle, but I'm pretty sure there was a driver in there. This looks like a battle arena. Something's gonna, like, plop down, isn't it? Ooh, particle weapon. Please don't get shot in the back, please don't get shot in the back. Hmm. 
There we go. Out what's up here? Penetrator ammo, nice. They're gonna come bursting out of that, aren't they? Ah, I don't have any sticky explosives I can throw back there. What a shame. God, die already. Okay, so it took five shots to take one of those guys out. That's not great, given the low rate of fire. And despite that, they're still it was still able to keep shooting me. I wasn't stunning it enough. Still might be a better tactic just to run up to its face and shoot it with a shotgun. I don't know. goodies. There must be a back entrance into there. But where? Yeah, 
these guys are getting some really good shots in now, even though I'm shooting them. Which does stun them, but they're still getting shots through despite that. So I'm really not trying to just completely prevent taking damage. Now, I'm taking a manageable amount of damage, but I'd prefer to just completely prevent it. Rocket launcher, uh, 25 shots of this thing. I'll stick. Well, you know what? This thing is really good at long range, but that's the only thing it's good for. I think the rocket launcher is probably much better against big, heavy things. And I'm not having any problems taking out people, I'm only having problems taking out the heavy things. So let's go with the rocket launcher, actually. What gun he was holding, but that looked nasty. Excuse, excuse me, sir. It's a whole lot of particle weapon. Nice. It's like a desk control panel with no controls. Wow, they're just tossing me so much particle weapon ammo. Creep me out for a second. It's like, oh my god, there's somebody in the doorway. Oh my. It's definitely a battle arena.
can't stop it. Where the thing come from? Fire in the hole. Ow. Fuck you! I just saved your ass. And you throw a grenade at me. Dick. Wait, where am I actually going? I want to get outside. Right? I think. Or do I? And this just goes in a circle. Oh, there's a door. Wait, so that car exploded. Maybe that one's explodable. I'm gonna try to kick it to death. Oh god! I don't have enough ammo. And without some rockets, those take a lot of hits. It's like 40 shotgun chills. Ah, 
Blow up, you son of a bitch. Blow up. Nah. I don't think you can blow these up. At least, not by kicking. Now, the person who said that you can uh, blow up cars did say that they only tested it in, I think it was Fear Extraction Point, which is one of the expansion packs. So it might just not be possible in the original Fear. button. Okay, well my rockets are depleted, so let's switch to the particle weapon. The physics in this game are so weird, like you touch anything and it just explodes. They're gonna come through the windows, aren't they? Interesting physics. Well, that's not good. Oh, hi. Come back. Good luck in there. 
Replica elite soldiers and Armacam security forces have already entered the facility. ATC's motives are unknown, but their intentions are clearly hostile. The Federal is believed to be inside. Alice Wade has not been recovered. Secure everyone, shoot people in the face. Okay. I don't think this thing's going to be very good against turrets either, but let's try it. Well, three shots, that's not bad. The only safe alternative there is mostly just to kind of sneak from box to box in slow motion and then use my shotgun to close range. Hmm, is that where I'm supposed to go? Nope, I believe that is an extra area, so let's go check it out. Don't want to miss any permanent boosters. Is he trying to burn all the documents? Reformat the hard drive? Oh, of course he's magically sealed the door shut. Where does this go? Secrets? Oh, this has got to be secrets. Or... 
Oh no, this is actually where I'm supposed to go. So much ammo for this thing. 25147. Damn. just happened. I kind of want to drop down to drop down to find out, but the sound of an explosion kind of puts me off that. Uh, okay, seems to have calmed down. Oh. blew up their grenade in midair, which cancelled out my grenade in midair. Damn it.
He kicked me before I kicked him. Ow. I was trying to think of like a, a cool uh, kick to do, so instead I just hit him with my weapon. It seems that hitting people with your weapon is just exactly as effective as using your feet. Which means it's simply better to do the melee attack with your weapon because it's way, way faster. So you can do this instead of this. It's like half a second as opposed to two seconds. That is. Shoot the lock off from the other side. I'm not actually sure if there's a lock on there. <laughs> oh my god, I kind of feel bad about that. That poor guy was sitting down those, that trap and uh, his own trap, his own trap kind of bit him. Does that go? I think that's where I have to go.
Fear Point Man has reached vicinity of Vault Entrance. ADC security forces are offering resistance. Norton Mapes is destroying evidence of Armacam's activities in the facility. Harlan Wade is inside. He has not been located. Alice waits in. Uh, Wade has not been located. Yep, yep, yep. Secure kill, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm nearing the entrance of the vault, where I'm imagining things are going to become very interesting. Since the vault is the thing that they sealed up, is it not? Because they wanted to contain what was within? Well, this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.